Miss J's friends. Today I'm going to read a book and the title is B is for Breathe, the ABCs of Coping with Fussy and Frustrating Feelings by Dr. Melissa Monroe Boyd. If it is by her, she wrote the book and we call her the author. Good job, friends. When you are feeling fussy or frustrated and want something to do, try a new coping skill. One of these will surely help you. A is for art. Draw or paint to help express emotions. B is for breathe. Breathe by slowly taking a deep breath in through your nose and slowly breathing out through your mouth. And I know Miss J's friends know all about taking good breaths to calm ourselves down. C is for count to 10. Slowly count to 10 while thinking about feeling calm. Let's try it, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. She has both of her hands up because there's five fingers on each hand. So that's 10 fingers for 10 seconds. D is for dance, express pleasure through emotion. So pleasure here would mean happiness. So she's expressing how happy she is by moving. E is for eat a healthy snack. Good food choices are healthy for the mind and for the body. F is for fun with a friend. Enjoy an activity with a friend, like playing a game. But since we're stuck at home, you guys might wanna try calling a friend or talking to a friend on Zoom or playing a game with your brother or sister, mom or dad, whoever you're home with. G is for create a glitter jar or another craft. Use water, glitter, glue, food coloring, Make, shake, watch, and relax as the glitter settles. H is for hug a trusted person. A caring hug from a trusted family or friend is comforting. Everybody loves hugs, right? I is for imagine a favorite place. Imagine your favorite calm and relaxing place in your mind, such as a beach. I know Miss J's friends know that when we meditate, we lay down and close our eyes and think about maybe being on a beach with the waves and the sun. I think that's really relaxing. J is for tell jokes. Laughing and telling jokes helps to relax. Do you guys know any funny jokes? K is for kick a ball and play other sports. Physical activity relieves stress and builds self-esteem. I know my friends love to play basketball. Have you guys ever played tennis or soccer or baseball? L is for listen to music. Listen to a favorite song, ocean waves, waterfalls, or birds. Miss J loves listening to the sound of the ocean and I play that in my class all the time. Do you guys have a favorite song you like to listen to? M is for muscle relaxation. Slowly tense and relax each muscle. Group uh, face, re re make your face tense and then relax it. So tighten your face and then make it feel relaxed. Try it with your hands, tight and relax your arms, your stomach, your legs, and your feet. N is for a nature walk. Enjoy walking while focusing on your senses and nature around you. Think about what do you see? What do you smell? What do you hear? How does it feel? O is for organize and clean up toys. Cleaning up and clearing out clutter is calming. Miss J cleaned up her bathroom yesterday and it is so clean and organized and I feel very calm. You guys should give it a try. P is for pray. P 
prayer can help bring peace to your mind and body. If that's something you do at home, give it a try. Q is for quiet time. Enjoy quiet and focus attention on the present. He looks like he's meditating. R is for read. Reading relaxes your mind. So pick up a good book and read it for me. S is for positive self statements. I am awesome. I am smart. Positive self-talk helps to boost feelings and self-esteem. So give yourself a compliment. T is for talk about feelings. Share feelings and talk with a trusted person to help feel better. Are you guys feeling lonely or scared while stuck at home? Talk with an adult who lives with you. U is for unplug electronics. Take a break from electronics to relax the mind. So we can't always be on our tablets and our phones, right? We need to take a break to pause and meditate and calm down our brains. V is for create a vision board. Create pictures and words to express feelings and think of a future goal. So it looks like she wants to be some type of doctor with animals. Do you know what an animal doctor is called? A vet. So she's creating a board to show her future goal of being a vet. Can you make a craft and cut and paste and create a board of what your future goals are. What do you want to be when you grow up? W is for write about feelings. Journal to express emotions, communicate feelings, and solve problems. If you guys are able to write your words, write it down. If you're not quite there yet, draw a picture to show how you feel. X is for play the xylophone and other musical instruments. Enjoy playing a musical instrument that is joyful and fun. Do you guys have any instruments at home? If not, you have your hands, so you can always have the drums. Y is for yoga. Oh, I love this one. Yoga relaxes the mind and releases tension in the body. I know my friends love Cosmic Kids Yoga on YouTube. We love doing stretches and meditating and relaxing, and we start and finish with namaste. And last one, Z is for Z, which is the ladders you show when you're sleeping. Get good rest and take a break to help relax emotions. Miss J's friends, are you still taking naps every day? Naps help us be so much kinder and ready for the afternoon. Are you guys taking a good rest at night? I hope so. The end. All right, guys, let's see what you learned. All right, the name of the story was B is for breathe. So let's practice some breaths. Smell the flower, breathe in through your nose and blow out the candle. Smell the flower. Blow out the candle. One more time, smell your flower. And blow out your candle. Good job, friends. D is for dance. Can you take like 30 seconds to show me your favorite dance moves? Ready, set, go. Y is for yoga. Can you show me your favorite yoga pose to help relax your body and your mind?
Thank you guys for listening to the story. B is for breathe with me today. Subscribe to my channel for more read alouds and activities. Bye guys.